Hi guys and welcome to DIY with Nadia. So today I have two projects for you. The first one is going to be a trash to treasure. I have a Chicago art piece that I'm going to update and just make it fit into my home decor a little bit more. The second one is going to be a kind of a trash to treasure also. It's an old scarf that I had and it's a loop scarf and I'm going to turn it into a wreath. Without further ado, let's get started in this video. beautiful piece of art before I started working on it. First thing I did was remove that back lining and then I noticed there were nails holding the piece in place so I just bend those backwards so I can remove the actual artwork. As you can see that piece of tile and that background is all taped to this foam board. So the first thing I wanted to do was separate the picture from the fabric that's in the back. Originally I thought the fabric was actually taking up that whole backspace but it wasn't. It was actually like a little frame. And I realized that as I was trying to remove the tile. I'm glad I didn't go too far because the tile was being held on really, really strongly. And I'm not even sure what was used to hold it in place. When I realized that the fabric was just a frame, I then went on to remove the actual frame and just leave the tile on that foam board. After choosing this black fabric that I wanted to use, I just grabbed the frame and used it as a reference to cut out a piece of fabric. Using Fabric Fusion, I'm attaching my piece of fabric to the velvet frame and I'm smoothing it out really, really well. While my velvet frame is settling in, I decided to paint the actual wooden frame. And I'm using Chalked Linen White by rust -Oleum to give the frame a few white coats. This was the tricky part. I had to wiggle back that velvet frame behind the actual picture. And it would <laughs> it looks so simple, but because our frame is smaller than our picture, it took a little bit of muscle and that spatula that I have is everything. It helped me a lot during this process. Now I'm just putting the picture back in the frame and then using the old nails to nail it in and in some places I did have to get my own which is just fine, they're tiny little nails. Okay, I'm just using my little tool here to push all the fabric in just in case something got loose and I just want it to be nice and tight but I think this looks so much better and it's brighter and the colors are just, you know, the white frame is bringing out the white in this little picture and this doesn't look old and brown, it's black and it's bringing out the picture also with all the black here so I'm absolutely loving this and this is going to go in my husband's office and uh, 
I really hope he likes it. Before starting on the wreath, I knew my home sign needed a few coats of white paint. This is an old home sign that I had in my stash and it was this dark navy blue so I gave it a good three coats of white acrylic paint. Here is this fluffy beautiful scarf that I absolutely loved but you know it was time to move on and I'm just going to pin it to my little foam wreath that I got at the Dollar Tree and then just start going around and around the wreath. After fluffing my wreath out, I decided to embellish it with a little bow and I'm making the bow out of grow grain ribbon that I had on hand and this is one inch ribbon and so I made the big one which is going to be the white one and then just use the paper clip to hold it together while I got my second one going and the second one is going to be a gray one and I did the same thing, a simple little bow and then I put it on top of the white bow. And to finish off our bow, I will be using a polka dot bow that I got at the Dollar Tree out of all places, right? And it's so cute and I just used it as my top bow. Then I brought all my bows together using a chenille wire because that is what I will be using to attach the actual bow to my wreath. Next, I'm working on the tail, cutting off some excess ribbon, and then singeing the edges of the ribbon. To cover the middle of the bow, I just cut off a little piece of that polka dot ribbon, and I'm just hot gluing the ends to the back of the bow. I wanted to share a few tricks about working with grow grain ribbon because grow grain ribbon is a tough ribbon but when you're trying to make this beautiful bow there are some things that you might want to do. For example here I am I just pushed down one of the tails and I hot glued in the back how I want that tail to stay. I will be doing this to all the tails and also where I want my bow to stand up. You could definitely dab a little bit of hot glue right behind the bow so you can place it in the way that you want it. To attach my home sign to my wreath, I'm just attaching two pieces of chenille wire to the back of my home sign. After a little bit of hot glue tweaking, I think this bow turned out super cute and super easy. Anyone can do this bow. Now you can attach it anywhere you want on the wreath along with the home sign. What did you think of the project? Let me know down below. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.